Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Amani McGregor. I'm the founder and CEO here at Luxury House Search. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you're on IG, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, make sure you follow us at Luxury House Search. Now let's hop into the video. is a very valuable asset to a home on the market, especially in 2021. Last year, many people would have never thought in a million years they'd be working from home on the daily basis. Many case studies show people love the idea from working from home. A recent article in Forbes interviewed Joseph Falkman, founder of Novations and Zinger Folkman, who said the majority of respondents like working from home. When asked they enjoyed working from home, 82% agreed or strongly agreed, while 60% said they feel less stress working from home, and 66% thought they were more productive from working from home. Recently, I was featured on the National Association of Realtors website as well as apartmenttherapy.com on things that real estate agents say you should never display in your home office. Before putting your house on the market, it's extremely important to depersonalize your home office, removing all personalized items. And depersonalizing means all family photos, memorabilia that are more about you and your family. It's also best to remove any political views, especially what has happened in the past, you know, four years. A lot of people are very um, aggressive when it comes to political views, and that's definitely something you do not want to stop somebody from buying your house. So make sure you hide that. Religious items or anything else that would make the buyers feel like this is your domain and not theirs. That's also in another video that I shared on my channel. Make sure you check this out. Before putting your home on the market, you should make small upgrades to your home office. You can start by fixing any broken windows, outlet covers, uh, missing screens, dented door jams, and swap out any of the old light fixtures to create a great office lighting space. Also, repaint your home office in neutral colors. You're a proud alumni and you just want to show off the colors of your college or your school that you went to. And um, sometimes it could be a distraction. So I think it's best to paint your home office as well as the rest of your house in neutral colors. Don't have any bright red yellow, orange, it's always best to go neutral. You want to create a neutral palette where buyers can envision putting their own personal touches. And I would highly recommend light gray, taupe, or a cream color. Not anything crazy bright white, but just something a little bit more subtle is something that I'd recommend. Um, during open houses and showings, remember to turn on all of the lights, open all of the curtains and blinds to bring a lot of light through so people can see how much light and how spacious your office is. Trust me, it will make a difference. Typically, a home office is one of the first rooms to become the most messiest. I know it's pretty crazy, but it is what it is. I can understand. We have a lot of paperwork and a lot of things going on at all times but it's extremely important to put away that stuff, especially if you have a buyer looking to purchase your home. Hire a cleaning company to deep clean if you can't do it yourself. Wash the windows inside and out, remove any and all clutter, be sure to remove paperwork, objects, um, electrical cords out of view because even the smallest details can be seen in marketing pictures and showings. And also if necessary, get a storage unit um, if you don't have you know, space in your closet or in drawers or anything like that, get a storage unit that you can put your, your items in um, a safe, secure storage unit. <laughs> Lastly, if you do not have the best office furniture, it's completely okay. Um, this may be a good time to possibly think about it and getting a stager. When staging your office, you, you want to highlight the best features of your office. So, you know, how, how big is the space? Is a lot of light coming through. Does it have a lot of outlets for computers and another electronics? You have to think about all these things that you know, buyers are looking for when they're looking through your home office and seeing if it's something that would fit their lifestyle and work for them. 
I work with a lot of different staging companies. It definitely has a quicker chance of selling versus a home that is not staged. When staging or decorating your office, you want to highlight the best features of your office. What are you aiming for to create the perfect mood? You must create an ambience that's beyond decorating and cleaning. You want a home office to be a positive aesthetic rather than distraction from the rest of your beautiful home. An office should have a lamp, an area rug, a couple of aesthetic pleasing home decor pieces that complement the desk, which is a centerpiece of the office. Real estate sales are up with many people taking advantage of the interest rates and looking for their own place to call home. And to ensure that you get the best market activity and price for your home, as I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, right now is a time where so many people are working from home. I work with tons of buyers and one of the top requests that they're wanting is a nice home office. Since a lot of people are quarantined, a lot of people are still working from home to stay safe. It's a lot of crazy stuff happening this year. And to be honest, even when things open up, there are still gonna be so many people working from home because it, it just works. A lot of people are enjoying it at this time. If you don't have a home office, but you have other rooms, these tips and advice that I gave you still apply. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you are on social media, make sure you follow us at Luxury House Search and I will see you in our next video.